bed frame. Can you make a knife out of it? Let's go find out. Ideally, since this is our control piece, what should happen here is we should just be able to bend this right over. And it did exactly what we wanted. It's a great normalization. And we can move on to the next coupon. For any kind of high carbon, even, even mid-tier carbon steels, what we're expecting is basically a complete shatter. Now, it didn't shatter into a bunch of little pieces, but it did break above the vice jaw, which tells me that this was really hard. Now, with an oil quench, and if this is high carbon, we should get a really clean break. And as you can see, that broke right at the jaw, which tells me that at this point, this is high carbon steel. Bed frame. Well, we had our control, our water quench, and our oil quench. And the control performed just about how you'd expect it to do once you heat it up and let it cool down it uh, just bent, you know, no cracking. You know, if we would have continued past 90, we would have got a little bit of cracking on here. Yeah, that performed exactly how we thought it would. This is the water quench, and it looks pretty good. Slight freaking large granite, not super smooth. Like we're looking at it, we quenched it relatively low, probably around uh, 1550 to 1600 degrees. You know, that water quench isn't looking too bad. You know, so it's, it's really not that bad. And it snaps too, that water quench snapped. Now here is the oil quench. Now... There's something slightly different about this, and I'll put a side-by-side -side up here pretty quick, but let's take a look at the screen. Oil quench, it looks good. I mean, maybe slightly smaller grain than the water quench, maybe. We'll have to look at it side-by-side. -side. But what I'm seeing here, if we look at these things side-by-side, -side, the oil quench has almost this kind of shininess around the snap where the water I'm trying to see if it's just the angle that I'm holding at where the water does not it's really odd all right so they're both freaking quenched right they both snapped one hit is what it is that's what we wanted to find out can you harden this steel? Yes, you can. Now, we could end the video right now, but that doesn't tell us which medium to quench in. Is it water or oil? All right. Just because you, you can quench it in, in oil doesn't necessarily mean that is the best medium to quench in when running a 400 degree for two hours in the temper, tempering oven. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go put these in a tempering oven at 400 degrees and run them for two hours and then redo our snap test and see which one is the best medium 
to do our heat treatment in. Now, what it will also tell us, if we're still snapping on the oil, then that tells us one very important thing. We quench too hot. So that when we use this for a knife, we need to remember that we need to quench a whole lot lower than what we did right now. So let's head over to the tempering oven. We'll put these in for two hours, and then we'll be back at the vise do another snap test. What we're expecting is a break that's closer to the jaw since we tempered it back. The temper helped quite a bit, but it still broke above the jaw, so it was still really, really hard. Ideally, this shouldn't break with just one hit if we hadn't quenched it too hot after the temper. This is why knowing your temperature at the time of quench is so important. Well, they both broke even after temper. So what that tells me is that we did quench them a little too hot. We'll probably need to be closer to 1500. It's so if you're looking at a color range here, it's going to be like a, a, a dark red to red color instead of the red to orange color. So 1550 to 1600 is kind of that red orange color. We're looking to be probably closer to 5160 to be honest, which is like a 1525 um, or lower. Like 5160 can go 1525 to 1550, you know, pretty easily. Um, but this bed frame really needs to be probably 1525 to 1500 so red dark a dark red to red color and that's what we need to quench it at you know bed frame is hardenable whether it be in a water quench at super low temperature like below 1500 degrees you know you're talking mid to high range 1400 um 1450 to you know if you, if that's all you have is water or a brine a salt water you know 1450 to you know just barely under 1500 degrees and if you're doing it in oil i'm using vegetable oil and you could probably you could do i would say 1525 that you know red color to 1500 dark red color you know in oil so that's what i would say yes bed frame at least this bed frame we could use to make knives out we just got to figure out the heat treat you know get the quench get the quench temperature right and you know put it in there for two hours at 400 degrees and we're good to go so all right we'll see you on the next one everybody stay safe out there be well and as always poor job